welcome back to my channel. It's Monday the 19th of November 2018. Do you know it is five weeks till Christmas? Where has the year gone? Seriously, but that's okay because that will translate into part two. So this is just a quick little snippet that I thought I'd record as an intro to this week's video. I've done some vlogs over the last few days with what I've done and stitched and then there's a big gap because yeah it is what it is I just didn't get around to vlogging and I actually haven't done as much stitching this last week or so than I thought I was going to we've actually had a couple of busy weekends and things sort of didn't really go out as I thought they were going to but that's okay you know life is life and we all get on and do what we have to do so anyway, this is just a quick little intro to say welcome back. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the comments on my last video, which unfortunately I still haven't answered some of them. So I do apologize. I'll get to them over the next day or two and um, answer any questions or whatever. But I do appreciate all your comments and I appreciate you all watching. So thank you very much. I also like to welcome back my old subscribers and welcome some new subscribers. There was a couple of new subscribers over the last week or so. So it's lovely to have some new subscribers as well. Thank you all very much and uh, yeah let's get on with it so first up you will see the couple of vlogs I think there's three vlogs I've got lined up over the from the fifth to I think the last one was about the 11th or the 12th or something when I recorded that then I'll come back and I will show you what I've stitched on that's not in the vlogs and if I have enough time, I'll start talking to you about what I'm planning to do for um, the next couple of weeks and then going forward into 2019. At some point, we have to talk about 2019 plans. Yes, we do. That is coming and it's coming quickly. So we've got to get organized, but we'll leave that to the next time. So I'll see you shortly. See you on the other side. Good evening it is Monday the 5th of November I just finished recording a floss tube video so hopefully I'll get that up in the next day or two once I've done a little bit of mini editing just to put in some before pictures that should not take long but yeah who knows with me and I'm trying not to bump the camera I'm jerking a little bit so tonight, I'm running out of time to do much stitching tonight. It's nearly quarter to eight, and by the time I've had something to eat, I'll probably only get about an hour in. So I don't think we'll get much done, which is what's sort of affected my thinking for stitching tonight anyway. So the first thing I will do is work on deer and grapes, and I will do 50 stitches for the Nano Stitch Mo, which is the November Sal in Stitch Mania. And I'm just really going to just carry on with the border because that'll be a quick 50 stitches across. Each little bit is three stitches, so it won't take long to do 50 stitches and get that out the way. And that's the starting point for deer and grapes. So then my other thinking is I will work on a Mill Hill kit. Now, it's Monday, Mill Hill Monday, Muriel Monday, whatever we want to call it. The Mill Hill kit... I've picked is um, one I should have picked up during October to stitch on for Dark October but I didn't get around to doing that unfortunately so I'll do it now my reasoning for picking this one is um, the 5th of November is the last day for the midterm election challenge on Stitch Mania and the last challenge was to stitch on something that you were enabled to purchase I was enabled to purchase Mill Hill kits by Katie the Stash Queen. I saw all of her beautiful Mill Hill kits on all the uh, videos that she's done over the years that I've been watching her. And if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't be stitching on Mill Hill kits. I saw a couple that she had done and I bought those. I think she's got these. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I've got a funny feeling she has actually got these as well. But if not, it doesn't matter because... The whole thought is that if it wasn't for Katie, I wouldn't be stitching on Mill Hill kits. So today will be Muriel, which is part of the Hocus Pocus trilogy. And this is where Muriel is at the moment. So a little bit done, working around that cape now. So I'll do this bit, fill in that a bit more and do some purple in here. There won't be a lot done tonight, but it will be something. 
and hopefully you know one day she'll be finished as well she was coming to work with me for a couple of weeks a while back because I was trying to do some lunchtime stitching but that just didn't really work I just never get a chance to really stitch at lunchtime it's always something going on I don't even generally eat my lunch at my desk and keep working so you know I try to force myself to take a break but that doesn't always happen so the stitching went out the window but maybe I'll um, make a new year's resolution and we'll do better next year but anyway that's it for tonight hopefully you'll see my October update video up in the next um, 24 hours or so I'll start editing probably tomorrow and uh, we'll see how we go but until then, have a good evening and I will see you tomorrow with a bit of an update on these two projects and to tell you what I'm going to stitch on tomorrow night. Catch you later. See ya. Bye. Good morning. It's Sunday the 11th of November. Remembrance Day here today. So at 11 o'clock Perth time, and we will take a moment to remember those who have fallen during the wars, especially on this um, occasion today, which is a hundred years since the end of the First World War. With regards to stitching, I haven't done a video for a, a couple of days this week because I was really focusing just on my deer and grape sampler, so I thought it wasn't worth doing a small video for 50 stitches or more each night. So I'll give you an update on that. And um, I did make a start last night, very frustrating start on my black work lady, the Christmas Angel, and I'll show you that in a moment as well. And today I'm starting the Royal Holiday and I'll focus on the Royal Holiday after I've done my 50 stitches on the deer and grapes. So this is the deer and grapes and this is what mine looks like now. So I think uh, last time you'll see a, a video before this. But essentially, I've been working on doing this here. I've gone across the border as far as I can go without moving the Q-snap. So I've got those three rows yet still to complete. And I've been working on this little section here. So there's three of these. So I'm now working on the middle one. And then again, I think the page break's actually here. So once I've done this bit to here, I will move the Q-snaps and move over to the next page. So that way I can finish it all off and literally that will be it until I work out what I'm charting in those two spots still to be decided I'm sure it'll be the date and partly I don't know my name my initials I'm not sure yet we'll work it out or I might just complete, do some more of those little tiny roses across and just put something in there who knows but we'll see so last night this is my meager start very meagre start. So this is the Christmas Angel from Leslie Tear. And what I didn't realise till I actually looked at the pattern properly is all of this is all metallic. And of course that's the centre. And it drove me insane last night. Hubby was watching every run of Grease. So I was sort of uh, singing songs and um, trying to do metallics. Actually we were watching um, White Dragon for a couple of episodes first. And I think... I have I started here I've ripped all that out because I was one off up here and it was only when I was coming down here that I realized I was one off about there so I ended up taking all that out I took this out about three times because I knew there was a mistake but do you think I could find it and it was only when I was coming down on this section that I realized where the mistake was so I just sort of took my start and took it up so I seriously putting this down I think for today I'm not even touch it today but um, what I will do now that I've headed across to here, there is some, so I'm in this space here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do the cross stitch of her arm, which will give me a bit of guidance to work on. And then I'll come down and do the cross stitch around here. Then I'll come back. And, and what I might do is like do a strand of metallic in this bit while I'm doing it. But I'm using a uh, chronic metallic. Which is not quite the right one. It's supposed to be a DMC Diamond black gold one, but I'm just using a Chronic Metallic. Uh, what is it? Zero Eleven um, High Luster Number Four Braid. So I'm just going to use that, and it's got like a silvery black sort of look to it. So I thought that would be quite a nice offset to all that gold that's in there as well. But that's it. So that's it for today. 
I will give you a bit more of an update later on. Oh, the fabric that this one's on is um, Iris from Under the Sea Fabrics. It's a 32 count opal linen. And I think um, that's probably about it for today. If I get a chance tonight, I'll show you what I do on the Royal Holiday, but otherwise I'll record that tomorrow so that you can see what how much I get done on Royal Holiday. I actually managed to finally upload a video last night. It took about six hours to upload a half hour video and it took me all week to get around to editing it. So that's up and then we'll just continue to build up a little bit more content and hopefully I'll have a video up in about two weeks. Till then, I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye. Hello, it's Monday again, Monday the 12th of November and I'm back for just a quick update on what I stitched on yesterday. As I have been doing and as I've mentioned before, I am spending as much time as possible in November on the deer and grape sampler because I would like to get that finished this month. And I'm happy to report that I've done a page break. Well, just about. I've got to... In fact, yes, it is the next page because um, that bit there is actually on the next page. That was the page break about here. So I will tonight do my 50 stitches and do some work around here. And hopefully this will see a finish very, very soon. So I've obviously once I move the cue snap, which I will do now given I'm moving the page break, I'll finish off the two rows here that go across a little bit further to the border and I've still got quite a bit of the border to come down on the other side yet but I'll work across here and then I can do my border and hopefully the border on that side will meet up and we'll be all good to go so that's where that is to, as of today I just basically worked on the pomegranate and did the 50 stitches in there last night I think it's a pomegranate I'm calling it a pomegranate so that's what it is but my main feat for yesterday was I finally managed to start this beauty. I have been trying to get organised to start her since the 1st of November and we've finally done it. This is Royal Holiday, which is obviously a Mirabilia. And I am doing this as part of a Christmas sale with the Colour Cascades group, a Facebook group. I'm doing it on a Colour Cascade fabric called uh, Gold Digger Old Map Style. It's a 32 count Lugana and obviously it's an opal. You can even see some sparkle. That is as far as I got yesterday, which is good, bad, otherwise indifferent. But um, I'm actually really quite pleased because I was a bit worried that the light uh, thread wouldn't show up, but it looks like we're going to be okay. It looks like it will show up quite okay of course they have still got a crew and a couple of other light ones to go as well in there but by the looks of it it's going to work so I'm really pleased about that I will do more on this tonight after I've done my deer and grapes and from there I will decide how long I keep this one out I think I'll probably keep it out at least um, tonight tomorrow I'll work on boo club because it's the 13th so it'll be dark 13 stitching and I'll probably do a couple of days on um, boo club then we'll see how we're going for the weekend I'm not sure I think I've got um, my international hermit and stitch weekend this weekend I've just got to check my dates but if that's the case it might be royal holiday again but we'll see what happens I'd like to try and get a, a reasonable amount on this done before I put her away and go back to my maidens of the season or dressmaker's daughter but who knows? It is all up in the air and I will get there when I get there. So that's it for tonight. I will talk to you possibly again tomorrow, just depending on if there's enough to show out of my stitching today. But if not, I'll catch you when I catch you. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Hey, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that little vlog that I recorded. Um, yeah, so there was a little bit there to see, but not a lot, but um, I did, as you see, made two starts. I did what I said I was going to do. It may have taken a while, but I did what I said I was going to do. So Dressmaker's Daughter, I actually didn't end up working much more on that bar 
um, Monday night, um, which was what, what was that? The 12th. So I did a little bit on that on the 12th thing. Let me get my notes. Let's just do this properly, shall we? So I told you that I was going to work on mural and I'd realised when I was watching that back that I actually didn't show you what I'd done when mural got to. So I didn't do a lot. I really was just working in this space here. So that's where dear old Muriel got up to. And unfortunately now she's going to go away for again. But I really should bring her out and finish her because seriously, there's not a lot more to do. Well, there is. I lie. There's all that pumpkin and there's all of that up there and there's all of that. So yeah, there's a bit to do. But we'll get there. So that was Muriel. And um, what else did I work on? So basically... You saw up to, where did you see up to, Royal Holiday Start? So I did work on Deer of Grapes on the 12th for a little bit more. So let me just show you. So Deer of Grapes, for those that haven't seen it before, and I, you have saw it in my vlogs, why am I showing you that again? Sorry, I just I forget. So no, look, seriously, I didn't do much more on this. All I did was come down to the border because you've seen this little bit here and as you can see I still have all these loose threads because I've still got to go across so I took the Q-snap off moved across and literally that's it that was where I started the border and I came down to that unfortunately not as much as I should have done and um, dear old thing got put away but it's not really put away it's coming out I will work on it again this week because I still would like to get that finished before the end of November. But as I've told you before, in numerous videos, I get to a point where I've got to chart things and I stop. Yeah. But that's okay. I'm so close. So close now. So I will put pick that up again. Probably not tonight, because you'll see in a minute what I'm going to stitch on tonight. Um, but yeah, potentially any time after tonight, I'll pick that up again and we'll get that done. So, I did show you uh, Royal Holiday as of, which is this one, this is the mirror. So, I showed it to you where I was at on the Sunday. And I did do a wee bit more on, hang on, let me just pop that behind, on Monday. Not a lot. Just sort of filled in a little bit more in this space. She's looking so cute, isn't she? I really, I, I really do like it on this um, fabric now that I've been doing it. Really is good. So, unfortunately, that that's as far as that one's got. But she will come out. She's not actually. See, she's still on the Q snap, so she's not going anywhere too fast, too soon. So that was the. Bear with me for two seconds, and I just pull my little thing book up. So we did. Um, Deer and Grapes, Raw Holiday. I didn't do any more on the Leslie Tear because as I mentioned in my snippet, it was driving me insane. So I've put that away to think about that one. But I will bring it out again. It's not I haven't forgotten it. And if anyone follows Kerry in stitches, you'll see she's done a nice big she's got through all that bit that I've been tearing my hair out with on one day. And she's done that. So I've got to get back to it so I can at least have some more to show before the end of the month. But we'll see how we go. So that brought us up to the 13th of November. Now the 13th of November, I basically thought, you know what, I'm having another new start. The reason I did that is I was actually home on the Tuesday, had an unexpected day off because I wasn't feeling too flash when I woke up on Tuesday morning and I just decided that I wasn't going to go into work. <laughs> yeah, one of those days. Um, so I then sat down and just had a little look at what I wanted to get achieved by the end of the month. And one of the things that I'd completely forgotten I was supposed to do was my um, Just Cross Stitch Facebook group, Orny. And I'm very bad. This year I have not done every month for them. I'm seriously, I've been so slack. So I thought I've just got to at least do one for the year. So the one I decided to do is the November one. And this being so little, I decided I'm... Why not do it? So it is a Swalik Stitchery one. This is from the new Cross Stitch Orny, just, just Cross Stitch Christmas Orny 2017. And it's 
this little cutie called Santa's Coming. Now, it, it is charted in weeks and gentle arts, but yeah, we did something completely different. And this is what mine looks like, because it's now finished. Oops. Get myself organised here. It's finished. It is beautifully, beautifully finished. I wasn't sure this is this edge here, because they trim it and make it a gift tag type thing. It's they do the nun stitch, and I think I have just remembered. I think I recorded a vlog for that. Hmm. I'll go back and have a look. If I have, I'll insert it. But if not, doesn't matter because you're seeing it finished now anyway. So who cares? I had a little tiny weeny button, which I managed to sew on there, and here he is. The fabric is 28, no sorry, 32 count linen, uh, it's called Rocky Creek Canyon and it's another one from Stitches and Spice who, as I've mentioned before, no longer do dyeing, which is unfortunate, but that's the way it is. As I didn't have the weeks and the gast, because I don't have a big collection of them, I chose my Jodery Designs threads for it. So the cats I did in Midnight Hour, which is a thread that I actually used for my 12 Days of Christmas. And that was the one I used for the border, the Plum Street Samplers one. I used Autumn Winds for the little pole and the roof. So that's the cats are done in Midnight Hour. I used DMC4072 for the snowflakes, which was the alternate one for that. So I used that. It actually came up quite nice on that. So it does look like snow falling. And the border and the words and the bird uh, the birdhouse are in an old crescent colour apple fritter. Which... This is all I've got left of it, so I will have to go and get some more because I really, really quite like that. It's a gorgeous colourway. Now, as I started to say, and I got sidetracked when I remembered that saying this once before, which means I must have a vlog somewhere that I haven't found. This, the edging, the border stitch, is a nun stitch because the, the way it's finished in for the magazine is as a tag, so you cut, obviously, down along that line. I don't know how I'm going to finish this, fully finish this. I haven't got any idea whatsoever. I don't think I want to make a tag. I might just make a pillow. But I quite like the nun stitch and I think, you know, I had to have a border, so why not use that? So there you go. That's a start and a finish. So I started that on the 13th of November and finished that on the 18th of November, so yesterday. And I basically just worked on that on the days that I had stitching. This week I didn't actually end up stitching as much as what I probably could have done. For one reason or another, we were out and stuff like that. So, yeah. And it was also International Hermit and Stitch Weekend. So for those of you who are bloggers or you can find it on Facebook, that's what my International Hermit and Stitch Weekend was all about. A finish and another start. So... Because I did the November one and I didn't feel like doing Boo Club because as you would have heard in one of my snippets I said that I was going to focus on Boo Club last week and over the weekend didn't touch Boo Club. No, no, no. Didn't touch anything else. I did another start. So yesterday after finishing the um, Little Santa's Coming I decided to start the December Orny for the same Facebook group. And that's this one here. And this one is a sampler's not forgotten. Again, I'm not using any of the suggested threads. I've gone and done all my own thing. And this is what mine looks like so far. So I was actually quite pleased with the amount I got done yesterday. So I'm using, and I can't remember what I'm using now. Doesn't matter. I'll, I'll do it when I do a snippet when I finish this because I'm going to work on this tonight. I will make a note. So essentially, all DMCs I've just gone through and picked. I know that's 3011. That one was 
can't remember. That is, I'm pretty sure it was four, seven, six, I think. I can't remember. But I'll tell you when I do my little um, snipper. Actually, can I tell me? No, I can't. Um, this is a 28 count even weave, which I tea coffee dyed. Trying to use the Priscilla and Chelsea way of doing things, but no, didn't work for me. But I had started off with a grey, um, very pale grey, uh, what did you call it, pearl grey, I suppose, yeah. background fabric first, and that's the colour it came out at. No, it's actually quite nice. I've used it for a couple of different little awny things, so it's just turned it into a bit more of a, a nice sort of colouring. But it didn't actually do any of what... Um, it should have done as far as the tea and coffee dye. I ended up almost burning part of the fabric in the oven. So, yeah, we won't do that again. But that's okay. So that brings you right up to date. That's all I've done in two weeks. What you saw before and what you've just seen then. So what I have actually been thinking about is what I'm going to be doing for 2019. I am going to hopefully do a lot more stitching from stash, so to speak. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean I'm not going to buy stuff because I still want to buy you know, the charts as they come out. But I'm just sort of going to hope that I can stitch more on what I've got. So I'll focus as much as I can on the whips I've already got as well. So how I'm going to do that, I don't know yet. But this is the thing. Excuse me, I had to lean over. So this year I've been using a notebook for all my stitching related stuff and I don't know whether I've ever shown this to you before but I sort of write down what I've stitched on, whether it's a new start or whatever. And I've been tracking how I think I should be doing things on a little monthly calendar. And I also have a listing of all the sales that I think I might want to do. So that's for this year. Next year is going to be similar. So I've gone through the relevant Facebook groups that I'm in, which is uh, Cross Stitch Finish Line, Stitch Mania, Colour Cascade, Fabric Group, um, a number of others, the Orny one that I mentioned, and a couple of others. I've also got a couple of birthday sales planned next year with a couple of stitching friends with starting mirrors. So they're in my plans and I've been going through sorting out what I think I might want to stitch. I haven't got very far because everything I want to stitch then gets sort of like pushed to the side because I see something else. But I've got myself a new journal. I made this one. Well, sort of made this one. I should have actually bought in what it started off as, but it started off as just a black notebook, plain black notebook that I got for $5 on sale. Sat in the drawer for about three years. I think we've got about five of them because they were about $5 or something. And then I had this brilliant idea a few weeks ago of actually covering it with just some, you know, gift wrap paper. And it's got one of these little things, so I had to manoeuvre it out of the backing and put it back in. And you see I've well stuck it and sealed it so I can still use it. I then went on to a free website, I think it's called 101 Planners, and borrowed whatever. Did a whole lot of different sorts of things to scribble on and whatever. So after each month I've printed off and I've just got little things. I've just printed them on like those big shipping, Avery shipping labels so that I could stick them in the book. The website also had these little tabs which I printed and laminated and then cut out and glued to the relevant pages. And for each month, I have done the month and then what was on the other page. I've then done a couple of little things like where I can record my starts and my finishes. <laughs> if we get them, we'll have plenty of them, but maybe not them. And then just like a checking checklist and things to do. And then each week, I've got a different sort of pretty sticker 
which you know I'll write in what I've stitched for the day what I want to stitch or something like that so it's just a way of recording those sorts of things and then that goes for the whole 12 months and they're all different little pretty everyone's each week's a different one just there was all lots of little pretties then what I did is I pre printed something for the stitch mania starts I have no idea at the moment how I'm doing stitch mania but I've just done myself a couple of those so we'll work that out it might be something like 19 starts for the month because it's 2019 next year or it might be work on all of my stitch mania starts that I haven't finished from the previous year so who knows I've then done just printed out a couple of things which I've called my little wish list and that's it for the time being so the next stage will be just to um, put together what other things I might want to put in here. But you know, if I do decide to officially do Stitch from Stash, I'll put you know, my stitch, stitch from Stash info in there as well or something. But we'll see how we go. So that's the beginnings of those plans. So then I have been going through sort of what I've got in my Stash and in my Wits whips pile and um, there's a couple of whips that really I know I'm not going to finish I've started them for whatever reason and there might be just even those little cards or something from you know, the free gifts and so I'm actually going to rationalize what whips I've got and some things might be UFOed I'm also rationalizing some of the stash that I've got so some of the charts I know I am never going to stitch on I'm going to put up on stitch um, the, what's it called stash unload the Aussie stash unload site so I'll get that done over to probably the Christmas break or something I might as well sell them I'm not going to stitch on them so why have them in my stash I can just make some room for some more stash more mirrors mm -hmm. or something um, so yeah that's probably about it I will for the rest of this month I want to finish that little Christmas awning so I'm ahead of the game I want to try and finish Boo Club if I can. That's going to be, when I finish this, is I am finished focusing on Boo Club because I want to be as far ahead in, with Boo Club as I can for when we can hit December so that I can spend the month of December doing Christmas stitching. I would like to try and get Deer of Grapes finished. That's still a priority to get that finished in November. So those are the two things I'll focus on now between now and the whatever it is 30th of November so 30 days in November I think so and then uh, for Christmas stitching I would like to try and finish the uh, 12 days of Christmas Little House Needleworks 12 days of Christmas and my Country Cottage Needleworks Christmas Carols so if I get those two finished I will be really happy I would also like to do some more on my Christmas Quaker Songs of the Season 2 but I'm not holding my breath on that one. What else have I got to think of? I think that's probably about it. And then we'll just see, because obviously starting the 25th of December, I had to think about that, I will do the Stitch Mania Stitchmas. So I've already got the design worked out for that one, and hopefully that will be actually a nice quick little thing to maybe get finished in those 12 days. And I'm still thinking about what my Christmas plans and Halloween plans will be for next year so if anyone's got any ideas of especially a Halloween one that I can do for the year that has all different motives in that'll be good I have got um, uh, what is it the Jardine Privé Halloween Quaker so that may be my Halloween one for next year to stitch for the year but we'll see how we go and I think that's probably it because now I'm rambling so yeah when I know I'm rambling it's time to go so I will sign off now and I will continue to do some vlogs over the next couple of weeks and you will then hopefully see that one finished and if I ever get around to posting on Instagram you'll see it but you know I'm a bit slack with that. I do try, I do try, I just, yeah well, my new year's resolution, be more proactive on Instagram, be more proactive on Facebook and more proactive on blogging and YouTube. So yeah, a bit better for next year with a bit of luck, but we'll see how we go. Oh, no, no. Who knows? Don't ever believe what I say because half the time I 
think I'm going to do it and something happens and I don't do it. So we'll see what happens. And I told you I'm rambling, so that's it. I'm out of here. I apologise if you've heard snoring because Mitzi's over there snoring her head off. Felix is here snoring his head off. You haven't got Oscar, so you're okay. So you've got two out of the three snoring and me rambling. So it was a good video for a change or not, whichever way you see it. But I think I will um, sign off now and talk to you all again next time. So thank you very much for stopping by. I do hope you got to the end. If you didn't, I am really sorry for rambling and making you cut me off. But hopefully you did survive to the end. And I'll see you all next time anyway. So take care. Happy Thanksgiving to those of you in the US. If you do see this before Thanksgiving, I hope um, you have a, a nice safe holiday time. And been thinking about all of those of you who are in the US with those horrible Californian fires. I've, my old boss has actually moved to the US earlier in the year and he lives in California now and so I know they're on the other side of Los Angeles to where the fires are but it sort of made me did think of him quite a lot when I heard those fires were around Los Angeles. He's about an hour and a half or so whichever side of Los Angeles he is in Palmdale so but yeah so you take care, everyone. Look after yourselves. And to our Aussie mates, I hope you're surviving the beginnings of summer. We haven't seen summer here in Perth. We're still in cold weather. We had a nice warm day last week, and now it's dropped back down again. The East Coast, I think, has had summer, and we've just, we just don't seem to want to have summer over here. And I'm a bit over winter. So, you know, sun, please. Thank you. Anytime soon. So talk to you soon. Take care and um, yeah, thanks for watching and yeah, see you soon. Bye.